Parents, this is a quick tutorial on how to register an athlete here at Garden City High School using Register My Athlete. In order to register an athlete here at Garden City High School, how you will start, you will go to the top of our athletic webpage, gcbuffs.com, click Register an Athlete. That will take you to our secondary site called Register My Athlete. You will create your account using the parent, your first name and last name. You can create a username if you would like. If you do not create a username, it will use your email address that you input. Um, you can put a secondary email address in there in case you need to recover a password. Um, your password, you create and then repeat. It is your, your phone number, not your student's phone number, your phone number. Uh, if you want your work phone number in there, you can add that as well. If you'd like to receive text messages, you just enter your carriers, um, which carrier you use, and then your address and your security questions. You will click parent, I am not a robot, and verify. Once you've done that, it, you click create an account and you will have a, an account created. Once you've created that account, it will push you back to the login page where you will log in using that information you just inputted. So you will log in, you will see parents, you will click here to start your registration, start and complete registrations, we'll create a new registration, select school, obviously we're in Kansas, so here in Kansas, you'll type Garden City High School, and it will show up there. If you've already registered an athlete, you can use the last athlete's school as the registration. Select an athlete. We will create a new athlete. New athlete's full legal name, Michael Allen Tone. Suffix none, birth certificate. My name shows up on my birth certificate. You do not need to have that document. The date of birth, the 16th of July, 2004. Michael is the first name of my athlete. Alan is the middle name. Tone is the last name. Gender is male. The physical address you will type in, your city, state, and zip code. If you would like to add an email address of your athlete, you can do so there. So you can add your athlete's email address. Uh, a phone, home phone number for your athlete, you add there. Your athlete's cell phone number. And if you would like your athlete to receive texts, and again, you just select the carrier. Select a grade the athlete will be in this 2021-2022 school year. The year of graduation. The student's ID number. Please enter the correct ID number. If your student is moving to Garden City High School and does not have an ID number, put the number one. But if your student has an ID number, be sure to enter the correct student ID number. T-shirt size, and then click I understand and am responsible for keeping my students' stuff up to date. Anytime throughout the process or throughout the school year, if you need to update any information, if you move, uh, if your student changes phone numbers, you can log back in and change that stuff. Select the school year. It will be the 2021-22 school year in the activities that my student will be involved in. Um, he will play baseball in the spring, he will play football in the fall, and he will wrestle in the winter. Um, there's some, he may think he wants to do another sport, so you can click those. He may want to swim instead of wrestle, he may want to go out for track instead of baseball, so I'll click those and click submit. I have entered the correct information. What that does is that allows those coaches to see who is interested in their sports. Guardian information, this is your information. You will type your name, your middle initial, your last name, your address, your phone number. 
your email address, whether you were the mother, the father, or a legal guardian, and show the uh, guardian's phone number on the contact list. If you have a second guardian, uh, say you're the husband filling this out or you're the wife filling this out and you want the other spouse's information or the other parent's information, you can fill that out there. It is not A second guardian is not required. However, you do need an emergency contact, so you will fill out an emergency contact. So I will use Mike Tone, his grandfather, with his phone number, and click Save. The next part is the school questionnaire. Did this, school, did this athlete attend a different high school last year, or is this athlete for an exchange student? Most of you, the answer will be no. Um, if they are an incoming eighth grader, the answer is still no. If they are coming to us from a different school, you will click yes and answer those questions. Click no and submit. Additional opportunities, if you'd like to register your athlete for a free recruiting profile, you can click that and start that process. If you don't care about that, click no and continue. Electronic documents, we have three of them. The first one is the student athlete handbook. You can look through our student athlete handbook on all of our policies. Once you've done that, click I have read this document. And I agree, submit. The second one, authorization to emergency treat. If your student is at an away game and you happen not to be there, this gives us the ability to take your student athlete to the hospital to get treatment if it's deemed necessary. You will read that document that basically authorizes us to do that. Click I have read and I agree and submit. And then the last document is our case concussion and head injury document. You will read that document. Click I have read. Again, I agree and submit. Once you have read all those documents, you will click next step. They will show as completed. Click next step and you will e-sign and your athlete will e-sign. So I am the parent or guardian and I have read those documents. I will type my name and click e-sign. Make sure you click that e-sign, otherwise it doesn't let you finalize the enrollment. Your athlete will do the same thing, saying that they have read those documents. And they will e-sign that as well. Click Submit. And that has been completed. You'll click Next Step. This is the physical portion. If you need to download a copy of the physical, you click Download there and you will see this where you can download and print the physical. Um, once you've done that, or if you do that, it'll say complete. The very last step is not done by you guys, the parents or athlete, it is done by us here at the school. It says not complete. Once we get the hard copy of the physical, make sure your athlete brings in the actual papers to the physical to the athletic office or their head coach. And once they have done that and our athletic trainer has certified the physical okay to play, we will go back and we in the athletic our office will mark complete. Click next step. It will show uh, one red air as one thing not finished. That again is us completing that once we have the physical and have read through it. This will change from not complete to completed. So that is how you register your athlete. If at any time you need to change any of your athlete's information, you will just go in to the homepage, athlete information, and you can change that information on your athlete. Uh, an example, here in the athlete profile, the emergency contact, you were able to change any of that information. Okay, if there's if you have any questions, any concerns, make sure to contact us here at the Garden City High School Athletic Department office at 620-640-5606. I hope this was help helpful.